Israel and the United Nations are at odds over the nuclear non-proliferation treaty passed Friday night. 189 countries approved a declaration calling for a conference in two years that would aim to ban nuclear weapons from the Middle East. The declaration also calls for Israel to put its nuclear facilities under inspection by the International Atomic Energy Agency, sign the current treaty, and join the 2012 conference. The United States, which signed off on the declaration, says it regrets singling out Israel while not mentioning Iran. Iran is the only country in this hall that has been found by the IAEA Board of Governors to be currently in non-compliance with its nuclear safeguards obligations. The Americans in the beginning of this conference and now they have just raised the issue of Iran, but the majority of member states, particularly the non armed movement, take this sort of actions unjustified and destructive rather than constructive. And Frank Uciardo, our up-to-the-minute U.N. contributor, is here with some insight on all this. So, Frank, tell us, how surprising is it that the U.S. allowed um, Israel to be singled out? Well, you know, it, it may have been a surprise for Israel, but not for a lot of other states and member nations of the U.N. Because, you see, five years ago, when this very same conference met, it failed because they couldn't get any language into any of the provisions that named Israel. So that, the fact that that happened, they consider a big success, a lot of the Arab states do. But also part of that issue is that the United States has been talking to many Arab states about helping them get sanctions against Iran. So by allowing Israel to be named in this declaration, the U.S. is currying favor on the backside of the equation, saying, okay, we're helping you with Israel. You help us with Iran and get more sanctions. So that, that that's a key aspect here. Oh, that's interesting. And so tell us, what are the other um, fine points to this as far as the um, aspects that they agreed to in this declaration? Well, they, they mentioned other nuclear weapon states like, of course, the North Koreans. Now, back in 93, they pulled out of the Nuclear Nonproliferation Treaty, and now they're asking them to rejoin the treaty. and get rid of all their nuclear arsenal. Then also there's a, there's a really important key aspect here and it's called negative assurance, negative security assurance. And basically what that is is it's calling upon the United States, China, Russia, France, Great Britain to promise all the other states, all the other member countries of the United Nations that don't have nuclear weapons to assure them that we are not going to use nuclear weapons against you. So that is also on the back burner here, but that's also a key provision of this whole conference. And of course, they're going to review that in five years and see what kind of progress they've made. The biggest question here for everybody is, can the U.S. get Israel to come to the negotiating table on this conference on weapons of mass destruction for the Middle East in two years? And that's a big topic. All right. Frank Uciardo, thanks so much for the insight.